Next, we're going to find the inverse of each of the following function. So to find f inverse, we let it to be y. Then we're going to inverse the function. So we get back to f. So domain become its range. Range become the domain. So we give you f y equals to x. So we need to find out what is your y. So f y substitute under the x here. So here we'll give you square root of y minus 2 plus 7. So simplify to get your y. Automatic that will be your expression for your f inverse. Move the 7 to the right hand side. Then move the square to the right hand. Square root become square to the right hand side. Then y will become x minus 7 square plus 2. So finally, this is our f inverse. Or second question B G inverse equals to Y inverse the function so G Y will be inverse get back to X so substitute Y into the function G under the X here so here we'll give you Y minus 3 over 2y plus 1. Try to simplify out what's your y, then it will be your g inverse. So you will multiply this to the right hand side, it gives you 2xy plus x. What do you need is y term. So collect back your y term, y minus 2xy, so the 3 move to the right hand side, plus 3. So from here, we factorize the y. So y finally is x plus 3 over 1 minus 2x. So therefore, we get our g inverse equals to x plus 3 over 1 minus 2x. So when we're doing fashion, you have to be careful, say that. The denominator cannot be zero. So x cannot to be one over two.